Hey everyone, my name is Jordan Sutton and I am the author of Take Back What the Devil Has Stolen From You. And yes, let me show you the book. Da, 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 da. There we go. There we go. There we go. Recently, I got an email that stated that Create Space and Kindle um, will come together. So it looks like everything would just pretty much be on Kindle. But I figured that it was. I mean, you could still get a paper paperback book but oh i didn't notice the light was just gleaming like this gleaming okay that's a little bit better but anyway i did not know that they combined together um they were going to just have everything on one platform and i think that's a lot easier and better since no one really went to create space like that and i'm not gonna lie even when i'm shopping for a book i'm automatically you know going to the kindle store look my fire my kindle fire kindle was like way over there and i would reach to get it but hey um, but just letting y'all know, just to keep y'all informed, you know, everything will pretty much be on the KDP website, um, the Kindle, the fire, um, the Kindle website. And so anyway, um, I've been doing good. I've been doing well. I know it's been a while since I made, um, videos, but you know, I'm um, ever since I, I've uh, been, you know, just working real full time now, it's kind of hard to squeeze these videos in. So, but I am going to keep, um, trying to squeeze them in and be mindful. And always know that the best is yet to come. And even when you um, finally have an answer, a prayer answered, um, still continue on again to walk in faith. Um, still continue on to keep on going. Still continue on to know that um, God always wants to give you more. He wants to see what you can handle first before he give you more, right? So let's just say that you got to be a good steward of what you already have and uh, be greatly appreciative. But just want to let you know, always take some time to still put something in your purpose because you can make a lot of money. You can be making some money and still not be happy. And I know people always, you know, say that, but to actually, you know, just get a taste of it, of the situation and the experience, it's true, you know. So always just, you know, again, make sure you're taking some time out for your purpose because even though videos and um, it wasn't really making me uh, any money, you know, you're much, sometimes that can just make you more happier. It just sucks that, you know, you don't get any, uh, you know, the finances are not sure, you know, didn't show up in that um, as of then. But, you know, again, everything is processed. So it's just something, you know, just about your purpose. That's the thing. Even when it's not making you any money, it's rewarding that it's just something in your spirit that just wants to continue to keep doing it. But don't worry, your gift will always make room for you. So just always know. Again, that the best is yet to come. And um, that's pretty much what I've been doing. I've been also taking some time, still writing my book. Um, I'm not sure how many pages it's going to be. I'm still typing it out. And, you know, so, again, whatever you're doing, whatever your craft is, whatever you do, whatever you're good at, still, okay, still um, take your time. Don't put something out there real quick just to have it. Um just to say that you got it on the shelf, just to say that you did it, you know. And also, if it's worrying you um, that you're not getting that support, that's okay. God's going to put the people there, okay? He's going to put the people there. And sorry about this background noise, y'all. My road is kind of real noisy. I work at a call center at home, so I had to really make sure that <laughs> that I mute out a lot of the sounds on my uh, microphone. Um, but, man, and speaking of call center... Whew. Now, this is not my first call center that I worked at, so I do already know what to expect. But I want to try to do some videos also about that, too, about the things that um, call center agents have to go through and face on a day-to-day -day basis. Like, you are, you know, always verbally abused. Now, this program that I'm working at now, um, it's not so bad. Because last time I was working at a bank, and, you know, anything tied to money and finances, you know, it will always be serious. So, of course, people were always calling about the overdraft fees and da-da-da-da. So anyway, just keep your spirits up no matter what stage in life you are in, okay? And it's something I mentioned before. Don't live any less because you don't have what you're praying for. Don't live any less because you don't have what you're praying for. Yeah, you may not understand it. Yeah, it may not feel good. Yeah, it may feel uncomfortable. Yeah, it may feel like you've been done wrong. Yeah, it may feel like you may feel like it's unfair, but still keep on, keep going with it. Keep going with it. Keep going with it because it's going to all be worth it at the end. I promise you it will all be worth it at the end. Think about somebody that goes to the gym. They put all their devotion, their time. Again, sorry about the background noise. Got of school. Oh, yeah, this is school. Oh, yeah, it's time for the kids to get out of school at this point. Um, so, <laughs> man.
Maybe I should just did a video in the morning, but just wanted to get up here and just talk and just say, you know, um, hey, ain't that something? I already lost my thought. But I just wanted to make these videos like I'm just having a conversation. Just make it like I have a conversation here. So, but anyway, that's what I want to do more of. Um, I just want to make sure that I stay on these videos um, and still stay on it because it's purpose in it. Okay. It's purpose. And I've seen so many people that will get on YouTube and um, some, some people that's doing the motivational, inspirational thing and um, they don't get a lot of views. They don't get a lot of support. They don't get a lot of backing because it's the drama uh, that attracts the attention. Uh, it's the wrong things that attracts the attention, of course. But I still want to say don't be discouraged. Still keep doing you again. Your gift will make room for you. He's not a man that he should lie. All the promises shall come to pass and it shall be fulfilled. Okay? So even if you feel uncomfortable, even if... Mm. Don't worry about it. It's, the process ain't going to feel comfortable. That's the thing. That's how the devil gets us. He wants us to give in to how it feels. He wants to give in to how it feels, but you can't do that. You can't do that, okay? Always stay in the word and um, keep on going. No matter what, keep on going. I don't care. You don't want to do it. Who, who? I mean, who does? You know, keep on going. All right? There is value and purpose that's in your life, okay? There's value and purpose in your life. And I just thought about what I was just going to say and I forgot about it. Think about somebody. It will be worth it at the end, right? Think about somebody that's going to the gym. They don't want to. All their friends hanging out, doing this, doing that. But, you know, they got their mindset on this goal that they want to lose weight or that they want some muscles or that they want this type of whatever it is that they want. I don't know. Right. And they go to the gym and they devote themselves and their time and energy and dedication. And um, it didn't feel good. Uh, it didn't feel good, to, you know, to eat what they didn't want to eat, you know, over a time span. But then at the end, they got the results that they desired and it was worth it at the end. All the sweating, all the... I don't want to do this no more. I can't, you know, it, it all worked out. Okay. It all works out. So I'm using that gym example as something that as your walk with the Lord, it may not feel good sometimes, but it will be worth it at the end. Okay. So anyway, I just want to get up here. Um, have more of these conversations, have more of these talks, coffee talk with Jay. I might switch that up because I don't even drink coffee as much no more. I drink more tea, but everybody got, tea, you know, you know, tea now is like a, Cold for gossip, so I don't want to do that. So, still figuring it out. I'm trying to brainstorm. But anyway, just want to let you know. And um, if you are working on a job or you're working on something, still try to create your own business. Okay? A job is not guaranteed. I don't know where this is coming from. Again, I'm. It's, it's the randomness. A job is not guaranteed. Anything can happen. Um, and sometimes they will not give you your deserved credit. Okay, but maybe sometimes God wants you to be, wants their sight to be blind when it comes to you because, see, there's so many things that he has to do with you. You know, it's like a surprise. Um, I'm hoping that makes sense somehow in some way, but it's like a surprise for what he wants to do with you. Okay, so not everybody's going to receive you. Not everybody's going to get it. Or if they see you or they do receive it, they're going to, you know, turn the blind eye. But that's okay. Let God, within his right time, show out for you. Okay, and he will. He definitely will. Even if you feel like you're getting a voicemail, he will. He will. So be encouraged. Keep on going. Um, again, don't worry about the unsupport, the non-support. It's going all that's gonna work out for your good too. You're gonna be looking back at some things and saying, Man, that's good. I didn't it didn't happen then. It, you know, look what that person's facing, look what that person's going through because they got it, you know, so soon and early. And even the ones that did get it early and it worked out for them, you know, hey, you just look up. You know, you look up and admire them, but just want to get up here again. I feel like I've been talking real long. What is it, nine minutes now? Hmm. So anyway, stay encouraged. Um, I'm going to still keep trying to do these videos somehow and uh, share a little bit more of, uh, you know, my life and what my experiences, okay? And that's okay to don't get the views. God's going to reward you in another way. Maybe he don't want you to be limited on these platforms. Though, I mean, don't get me wrong, they're great. They're great, but maybe he just don't want you to limit yourself just to Instagram, just to Twitter, just to YouTube. Don't get me wrong. Then maybe he just wants you to expand more. And so right now, you're just going through a place in a period of where, you know, you're not seen, you're not heard. You're kind of, um, but that's okay. He's just covering you. He's just covering you. He's just preparing you for something more and bigger on the way. Always know that. So. Again, my name is Jordan Sutton, and I am, let me get my book, let me get my book. Oh, y'all, where's my book? 
take back what the devil has stolen from you. And the next book will be Vindication. My name is Joanna Sutton. You take care. God bless.